Hello and welcome to Smitty's. Today we are working on our chainsaw port porting class series. Um, if this is your first video, just go on down to the description and click on the link and you'll be able to see the whole series start to finish. Um, we are starting to get into the engine now and we're going to go through this piece by piece and I'm going to kind of show you my method, I guess you should say. Now, today we're going to talk about free porting. Free porting is when the piston is high enough in the cylinder that the bottom of the piston ends up opening at the exhaust port. Um, if you know what I mean, like it'll go up so high that the bottom of the piston opens up and then you'll get an opening below the piston. What this does is it will allow crankcase pressure to escape out the exhaust port or part of your crankcase charge, your fuel air mixture. It'll allow some of it to escape out the exhaust and it'll also allow exhaust gases into the crankcase. This is something we want to avoid. Now, it's pretty simple to figure out, but this comes into play whenever you're working on correcting things like squish. Uh, this has a lot of this saw has a lot of squish, so in order to correct it, we're going to shove the piston higher up into the cylinder. And when we do that, we uh, run a chance of opening up at the bottom. Of the piston so we want to make sure we don't do that now the easy way to do it is to just run yourself up the to top dead center and then you take a sharpie in your exhaust port and just color it or draw a line Okay, now let me pull, pull this apart and you'll get to see what I'm talking about. So in order to pull the cylinder off, we just gotta remove these four bolts going around the sides. Pretty simple. So now, all I gotta do is pull the cylinder off and take a look. I'm gonna get you closer to it. All right, so you can see the line I drew. And now look at the space below the line not a lot there is there so whenever we do things like remove the base gasket it's going to cause this mark to come lower on the piston and then if we do more work to help reduce the squish the space between the piston and the top of the cylinder that'll cause this to lower even more so we want to be aware of this situation so that we don't have the bottom of the piston come up above the bottom of the exhaust port. So here's our exhaust port. Let's see what I'm talking about. We don't want the bottom of that piston to come up above the bottom of this. You can imagine if it does, you can end up with exhaust gas shooting right down into the crankcase and you can also have your charge 
come up and out the exhaust through the bottom. All right, so now I just want to get a rough measurement from the bottom of that line to the bottom of the piston. Two point three four, two point three five. That's millimeters. Um, now, the question is, how close can you run it? Well, I've actually seen people run their smaller engines, like RC engines and stuff. I've actually seen them go with reporting as much as ten thousandths or so and run fine. Um, so it depends on the motor. Personally. On an engine this size, I don't want to, I don't know, I'm thinking a millimeter, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, you could probably go a little more or a little less, but I think a millimeter is a safe point. Um, it leaves you a little bit extra just to, just to be safe, if you know what I mean. But... With that 2.3 millimeter, that gives us about 1.3 millimeter to play with. So, what is 1.3 millimeter or whatever? I'm thinking it's roughly 50 thousandths of play there that we have, roughly. Uh, we started off with 87 thousandths of squish. And... We are deleting the base gasket. Now, to measure the base gasket thickness, think about that. Uh, measure your base gasket. I'm coming up at roughly 30 thousandths of thickness. Uh, we'll get into that more. We'll get, I'll, I'll get into that more. I will kind of explain the whole reason behind going for smaller squish numbers and we'll dig into that stuff later but for today i just want to give you an idea of why we want to pay attention to the the free porting situation so we need to pay attention to those figures um with any saw build uh, it does come into play, but I have, I have a workaround, a way to help us. So, a little cheating, I guess you can say. So, pay attention um, to a future video coming up here. I'm going to give you a little secret or two and show you something that will help us along the way if you decide to take that bath. Uh, it may not be for everybody. But that's one of the, the things that are great about these builds. You can decide which path you want to take. If you've been watching my ported home light, Super XL that I've been cutting with, that runs pretty good. Uh, that's the method I'm going to first show you what to do. And then we'll go on from there. Alrighty. Come back next time. Uh, we got a little bit of scoring in the cylinder and we're going to see if I can get it cleaned up because once the base gasket's gets off, I redo the numbers, but I'm not going to redo the numbers on a cylinder that I have to throw away. If I have to get another cylinder, then I'll do it with the cylinder I want to use. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to check the numbers on the cylinder that I'm using. But I, I do want to know my starting point. But next time, we're going to see if we can clean up this little bit of scoring here. It's not bad. It uh, barely feel anything. Barely feel it at all. So, 
I think we'll get it, but we'll find out. Depends how thick our things are. Things depends on how thick our plating is. But uh, alrighty, later.